And my coach, my competition coach, had such power in this position here. He could hold you like this for like five minutes while you're wiggling around like, you know, like, ah, for dear life trying, but you won't get out of it. That's how strong he is, you know? He could probably like, you know, have a drink, you know, smoke a cigarette, and then come back here and raw, and you wouldn't be able to move. And then he would let it loose when he'd want to attack you. And that's how, that's how he defeated this uh, ultra technical, ultra precise, uh, with amazing timing, judoka. But he crushed yeah. him with strength. Strength matters in judo. Strength and size, it matters. So what I'm getting at is that um, the whole Mufume uh, video thing, I think that I believe he has amazing timing and he has amazing um, um, skills, right? His timing's good. His skill set is good. Like he has that, uh, that, that, that tactical awareness. You know, he, he sees things coming. Uh, I, but, I mean, he was, what, what was he, like 80 years old in that video or 90? Okay. But, I think so I, too, I, when he was like 70, the other 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still think that, um, so I think that, yeah, he, he probably is very high level. But at the same time, I think his students were giving him too much respect. And mm -hmm. they weren't. They weren't crushing him. They were giving him what he wanted, even though it was with force. But he, he, he's been doing this for so long that he could see it coming. You know, they, he was like his students were giving him the kumikatas. They were going 50-50 grip. So when you give a, a guy 50-50 grip, even though you try, you have 50-50 and then you go for your, uh, your technique, even if you go for it with speed and strength, I mean, it's, it's somewhat telegraphed, so to speak. And, and that's, that's yeah, a good and, point because there was no grip fighting. There was just like, okay, let's almost like an agreement. We're going to grab in this specific way. All right, ready, go. Exactly. Opposed, exactly. Uh, I want this lapel. No, you don't. Get that on. You know, no stripping the grips, none of that. Exactly. Exactly. So, in my opinion, like, because uh, the, the rule of thumb in judo is if you have 50 50 grips, like you have your grips on me, I have my grips on you then it's the man with the better judo that wins. But yeah. if I, even if you, let's say, for example, your judo was better than mine's, but I get the dominant grip, right? Like a two on one, so to speak, or, you know, uh, then yeah, I'll, I'll, my chances of throwing you go, go way, 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 well, way up. So that's why I think that even though he probably is very, very skilled, very high level, I think it was, um, it was more a, of a demonstration thing than anything else. Like his, his students were, yes, they were coming in to attack him with full force and speed. But I mean, he, they, it's, it's telegraphed because, you know, they, they both had 50-50 grips. And, you know, there's probably a certain level of respect there. They're not going to. And there was no grip fighting. So that doesn't make sense. If you watch any, any video, uh, judo video, like uh, in the Olympics, you're gonna no you'll notice they fight like hell for their grips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's the first thing, man. Like, you know, whoever wins that battle essentially is going to throw the other person. So. Yeah. It's, um, 